Welcome back to New Pallet Plains in Fitchburg, Massachusetts for some more match play action from the Pro Series Ultimate Ladder Tournament. In this match, Jim Ayotte, who is fresh off a win over Jeff Surratt, is facing Sam D'Agostino, who was the top qualifier with a 495 series in the three-game qualifying round. The winner of this match will take on Mark Strangio in the, uh, the next round of match play as we move up the ladder. The two bowlers to follow Strangio will be Scott LaPierre and finally Sean McKinley. And Jim Ayotte uh, starts off with a four box, not the way he wanted to, uh, to start off, especially against Sam D'Agostino, who's uh, really got it dialed in today. Uh, there's a good ball on the head pin. Jim leaves the two, four, five, and seven with a piece of wood out in front of the two. I think it's frozen on the two, but the five pin might be a problem here if he doesn't. Uh, that's, that's what the problem was. He didn't hit it high enough to, to carry the five. So Jim will be open in the first two boxes. And that's a 10, so Jim has got 14 after two. And that brings up Sam D'Agostino who, as I mentioned, bowled an explosive 495 series in qualifying. And Sam starts off with an 8. 8 drop, that is. He's got the 2 and 4 with a piece of wood. He's going to have to uh, be a little bit careful with this because the wood is almost parallel to the lane, so he doesn't have a lot of room. And he's got it. But as you saw, it wasn't uh, the easiest shot. You'll take a look at it. It's right about on the red line, and the wood comes off the wall to get the four pin. So that's a good start for Sam D'Agostino. Sam on the fill ball, drops eight. And this time he's got the four seven with some wood, a uh, piece of wood that's well out in front. It might be like up against the lip of the, um, the lip of the, the lane where it meets the pin deck. And that was, that wood was quite far out front. So it was a pretty tricky shot and, and Sam was not able to convert. So it'll be a nine. That gives Sam 27 after two. So he's got a 13 pin lead. So this is where Jim Ayotte wants to try and get something going early if he can. Nice ball by Jim. He drops, well, is it gonna be a strike? Not quite, the 10 pin stands. It's got a piece of wood, he's got a piece of wood behind it. I think it's frozen on the 10, so that might give him a bigger target than just the 10 by itself. And he's got it, he's right on that 10 pin. Spare in the third for Jim Ayotte. Tough break there. Jim punches through the middle, takes out the 159. So that's just a three fill on the spare, giving him 27 through three. Oh, nice try there. He got the three, six, 10, and got the three to go over and get the eight. So he's just got uh, two, four, and seven. And he goes by it. That's. That's kind of costly to leave that many pins on the deck with the, the four in the first frame and, and the seven there. That's in a one string match. That can be costly. Sam D'Agostino drops eight once again, as he did in the first two boxes. And this time he has the five, eight, 
couple of pieces of wood. Hard to tell. Hard to tell exactly what he's going to do with this. He's got it. Nice shot right there. He just clipped the right end of that first wood and the ball carried through and took the 5-8. So Sam is out to a substantial early lead. And is it gonna be yet another eight drop? It is, and he's got the 6-10 here. And that piece of wood in front of the six pin looks pretty tricky. He's gonna have to hit it probably really high and push it back. And he does. He just went right up on the cap of that wood, slammed it right back into, uh, into the 6-10. So let's take a look at the scoreboard here through four frames. Jim Ayotte off to a slow start with 34, and Sam D'Agostino has 55 with that spare in the, in the fourth that he'll fill when he gets back up there. Jim Ayotte rolling in the fifth. And he drops eight. Nice ball there. He left the uh, left the two four. And again, there is a piece of wood that could give him some trouble there because it's almost parallel to the lane. Let's see what he can do with this. Yeah, sure enough, it was a little bit troublesome. Although actually, he he really didn't get very much of that wood, so. Uh, it wasn't going to go unless he got a little bit more of it. So it's a 10 box in the 5th. That gives Jim 44 through 5. And Jim misses the head pin to the left, dropping 3. And a nice bid right there. He came in the 1-3 pocket, but the head pin went around the 7, and nothing touched the 5 either, so it's going to be another open box for Jim Ayotte in the 6th. And that'll be an 8. So Jim has got just 52 through 6. Sam D'Agostino working on the spare that he had in the 4th. And that's five straight. No, actually, that's not another eight drop. It's a nine. And Sam leaves just the head pin. Not a great ball right there, but he got a nice break. And let's see if he can take advantage. It's not a break until you take advantage. Then he does. He missed the head pin, but that piece of wood took it down for him. So that was uh, not a textbook spare by Stan Sam D'Agostino, but he certainly will take it. On the spare, he is back on the head pin, but this time he's only got seven, and he leaves the four, six, seven with some wood in front of the six. And I think there also might be a piece of wood behind it. This one, uh, this is gonna be quite a shot if he can make it. Yeah, no, pretty, pretty tough to do anything with that. Sam will have a nine in the sixth. So let's take another look at the scoreboard after six. Jim Ayotte with 52 and Sam D'Agostino with 90. So Sam is leading by 38 pins with four boxes to go. And that means that Jim Ayotte really has to get it going here. Pretty much has to, has to mark out. 
And he's got... It's a strike. Took a while, but... Uh, they all went down. And let's have a, a peek at the replay. Pretty high hit on the head pin, as you'll see. The 3 pin goes to the sidewall, wipes out the 6-10, then comes back and gets the 8. And eventually the... 4 pin falls and it comes forward into the 2. So that's a badly needed strike by Jim Ayotte. But what he needs to do is build on it since he uh, he's down by 38. Needs a good fill on another mark. Over on lane 1 I think that's Mark Strangio warming up for the next match. And Jim throws a good ball, but punches through the middle, taking out the 1 5 8. And just punches that too. So that's too bad. He needed, that was an opportunity to, uh, to start a string of marks going, which he needs if he wants to come back, and he just gets a uh, seven box here, so. It's looking more and more like Sam D'Agostino is going to win this match and move on to the next round against Mark Strangio. Let's see what Sam can do in the seventh. Hmm, nice pitch, but he got uh, didn't get much to show for it. He's got the 5-10 with no wood. And he just uh, just takes out the 5. And Sam will take... Actually, that went in the gutter, so that's a 9 box. Nice ball by Sam D'Agostino in the 1-2 pocket. Leaving the 7 pin. And he's got it. So Sam D'Agostino, as you can see, with 109 plus a ball through the 8th. And Jim Ayotte with 74. So it looks like Sam will be moving on to bowl against Mark Strangio. But first, Jim Ayotte will finish out this match. And pretty full hit on the head pin. And he's got eight, but he's got the six and eight couple of pieces of wood that might he might be able to use. I'm, I'm sure he's going to try to use that one that's to the right of the six pin. Doesn't look too promising, but it's worth a shot. And Jim will take an eight box. And there's a nice ball by Jim Ayotte. It's a little late, but uh, nice wall shot for a strike. Let's have a look at it in, in slow motion. You'll see he hits the 1-3 pocket, and it mixes really nicely. That's a good ball by Jim Ayotte right there. And I might add that the Bowler of the Year points that Jim wins in this tournament will put him on top of the Pro Series Bowler of the Year standings as of uh, through, uh, through five events this year. Jim has had a very consistent year. Sam with just a three fill on that spare. Doesn't matter much, but he uh, just barely missed the head pin and took out the 2, 5, and 9.
And he'll have an eight box. And that's a nice one three pocket hit, but he doesn't get much to show for it again with the uh, five, eight, nine, ten. Although there is a piece of wood there in front of the nine that might help him if he hits the five pin. And that's exactly what happened. Nice shot right there by Sam. So Sam will move on to the next round and face Mark Strangio, and we will have coverage of that match a little later. He fills in the spare with nine. And let's look at the scoreboard. Sam D'Agostino wins this match 130, um, 139 to 99 over Jim Ayotte and moves on to the next round at New Palace Lanes.